Welcome to our lecture online. So now that we think we know how to find the division of two fractions or one fraction divided by another, let's go ahead and try some examples. Again, the rule is when you see one fraction divided by another, let's turn it into a multiplication. So in this case, we have three halves divided by two fifths. So this can then be written as three over two times the inverse, which would be five over two, which is equal to, now before we continue on, what you have to be careful of is not to think, oh, you see a 2 over here, you see a 2 over there, let's just go ahead and cancel that. Don't do that yet, as long as you have a division symbol here, first turn into a multiplication symbol, and then you realize, oh yes, there was no way that we're able to, to simplify the 2's, or to reduce with the 2's. So here we multiply the numerators, which is 15, divided by, we multiply the denominators, which is 4, and that would then be the final answer. Same over here, before you try to do any simplification, let's first turn into a multiplication. So we have 16 over 8 uh, times 3 over 2, and now we can go ahead and try to simplify something. For example, 16 and 8, where they're both divisible by 2, so I mean by 8 actually, so let's go ahead, divide the denominator by 8, divide the numerator by 8, which becomes 2, and then you realize that we have a 2 in the denominator, and we have a 2 in the numerator, so this 2 becomes a 1, when that 2 becomes a 1. And now the result is that we have in the numerator 1 times 3, which is 3, and 8 times 1, which is 8. So the result is 3 eighths. So wait until we turn it into a multiplication before you start simplifying. That is a good rule to, stay with, to stick with. So here again, let's first turn that into a multiplication. So I have 25 over 45 multiply times 16 over 4. Even though you've, you could have already simplified this, it's just better to wait until you have it into the form of a multiplication. And now we go ahead and simplify. Notice the 25 and the 45 are both divisible by 5. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5, and 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. And then the 4 and the 16, the same way. They're both divisible by 4, so 4 divided by 4, which is 1, 16 divided by 4, which is 4, and now we can simply multiply those out. 5 times 4 is 20, 9 times 1 is 9, and that's the final answer. So again, here, take a look. You would like to start simplifying things right away, but hold off. First, let's turn into a multiplication. So we get 42 divided by 16, we leave the first fraction alone, times the inverse of the second fraction, 12 divided by 28, and now we can start simplifying. Notice that 16 goes exactly three times, does it? No, it doesn't. I was thinking 16 goes into 42, but it doesn't. They're both even. Hmm. But 12 and 16, how about those? You can divide 12 by 4, you can divide 16 by 4. So let's start with that. 12 divided by 4 is 3, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Does 4 and 44, can you simplify that? Well, we can divide both sides, uh, both the top and the bottom by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 42 divided by 2 is 21. Now you notice 21 and 28. They're both divisible by 7. So we can go ahead, divide 28 by 7, that gives us 4. Divide 21 by 7, that gives us 3. And now I think we have it as simple as we can make it. So the numerator becomes 3 times 3, which is 9. The denominator becomes 2 times 4, which is 8. Now let's go over here. Hmm, something has changed. Not only do we have divide by a fraction, we also have a multiplication between two fractions. So here, since this division sign is at the very end, we can simply turn that into multiplication by turning the fraction over, by taking the inverse. So this can be changed to... 22 over 14, and let me leave a little bit more room because I think we're going to try and reduce some of those fractions. So let's see. So this becomes 22 over 14 times 16 over 33, and then times the inverse of that, which is 27 over 18. So now we can try to reduce. So let's put an equal sign there. And we have a 22 here and a 33. Those are both divisible by 11. So let's go ahead and do that first. So 33 divided by 11 is 3. 22 divided by 11 is equal to 2. Here we have a 27 and 18. They're both divisible by 9. So 18 divided by 9 is 2. 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. 
And then it becomes obvious that this 3 and this 3, we can simplify that or reduce that. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Not quite done yet. We have a 2 here and a 2 there. So this 2 divided by 2 is 1. This 2 divided by 2 is a 1. And all we have left is a 16 and a 14. They're, they're both even, so we can divide the numerator by, uh, by 2, which gives us an 8. And we can divide the denominator by 2, which gives us a 7. Since that's a prime number, I think we've gone as far as we can go. So the answer then becomes 1 times 8 times 1, which is 8 in the numerator, and 7 times 1 times 1, which is 7 in the denominator. Whoop. Now to this final one. Here we have a division symbol and a multiplication symbol, but the division symbol is not at the end like we had over there, where we simply flipped the fraction around. What do we do now? Well, it turns out that when we have multiplications and divisions in the same exercise here, it becomes the order of operation is now from left to right. So we, may, we do this first, and then we do this. So essentially, you can put parentheses around it, which then indicates that you'll take care of this first, and then afterwards you're going to multiply it times 8 over 5. So what we can do then is simply turn this division into multiplication by taking the inverse of the fraction, and then that result is then multiplied times 8 over 5, which means we can write this as 14 over 16 times 28 over 12, and then this is then multiplied times 8 over 5. And so by looking at that, we then realize that we can still see, do the exact same thing. We can change the division into multiplication by simply flipping the fraction around. And the last fraction here that's multiplied by the result here, that's exactly the same. Nothing changes. Okay, so we can do it the same way here. But before we multiply, let's again simplify as much as possible. We'll reduce. We'll have a, uh, let's see here, we have a 28 here and a 16, and a 12, and a 5, wow. Hmm, what do we do? Well, to make it simple, let's start dividing by 2 and see what we get. Or actually, 16 and 28 are actually divisible by 4. So let's start with that. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 4 and 14, well, they're both even. So 14 divided by, four, by 2 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. We have an 8 and a 2, so here we can see that 8 divided by 2 is 4, 2 divided by 2 is 1. We still have a 4 and a 12, they're both divisible by 4, so what we can do now is 4 divided by 4, that's 1, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now notice we have only prime numbers in the numerator and prime numbers in the denominator, and they're not the same, so we're done. So now we have 7 times 7 times 1, which is 49 in the numerator, divided by 1 times 3 times 5, which is 15 in the denominator. And so that's then our final answer, and that's how we divide with fractions.